Hello and welcome back to Sixth Gear Garage. I got a question on one of my other videos. John S., uh, also from Ohio, said, uh, what do you do to try and prevent your truck from rusting? He also has a 1985 Toyota. So uh, I figured rather than write a long comment, I would just do a little video and uh, show you some tips and tricks that I've learned over the years to help prevent this truck from rusting. So the first thing is obviously don't live in Ohio, which isn't an option for us. Um, second thing is don't drive in the winter. Avoid road salt at all possible costs. Uh, that's, that's pretty obvious. In addition to the road salt, really avoid that brine solution that they spray in the roads now. That stuff is actually more corrosive. Um, as far as driving it in the nice season, which is the only time I recommend, you really got to be careful about getting it in the mud. Um, I've taken this truck through some pretty deep mud and uh, always afterwards I make sure I clean it because when you have mud on a metal surface, that mud is going to hold moisture. That mud is going to stay damp a lot longer than if the water was just on the bare, uh, just on the frame by itself. So you've got your frame here, and let's see here. You've got lots of little holes in the frame. Some of these bigger holes actually have caps that go over them. They're plastic. They get brittle and they crack and they fall out. Um, see here more holes there's where one of those caps used to be so all throughout the frame there's holes now <clears throat> you have some drain holes on the bottom as well so when you drive through muddy water mud just whatever you're gonna get stuff moisture mud what have you not muddy water inside this frame and yeah most of that's gonna drain out, but it's gonna leave sediment sitting on the bottom of the frame. A lot of it's gonna settle down in the low spots, right in here. And this is why a lot of these frames rust right here. In fact, I'm gonna throw a, uh, a little link up here in the corner where you can see a very, very rusty frame from the 86 that I had. And uh, that frame was pretty much eaten completely through. But back to this frame, this one's in pretty good shape. Um, that's because when I did take this thing through some deep mud, um, here again, you can see I've got a piece of tape over that where that plug used to be just to keep stuff out. When I did take it through the deep mud, I made sure that I washed the inside of the frame as well as the outside of the frame and of course the underbody and everything like that because you don't want that dirt. We well, you know there's, I found mice nests, I found uh, chipmunks storing acorns and frames. I've seen a lot of stuff. So you want to keep that frame clean on the inside. And the best thing I can say to do is to park it up on a hill, stick a, a high pressure hose in it, and just blast it. And you'll see all kinds of stuff shooting out the holes. And you'd be surprised uh, what these things can accumulate after 30, 30 plus years. And uh, that's really it. That's, 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 that's what's gonna extend the life of your frame, is just keeping it clean. Now, let me show you what I use right here, fluid film. You know, some people spray uh, motor oil, which, yeah, it's not really environmentally friendly. This stuff is actually made, made to coat underbodies and frames. And all I do is, uh, it comes in aerosol cans. I prefer the gallon by in bulk, it's cheaper. What I do is I just, uh, Got my compressor here, got a hose. I put it in a, an old spray gun here, and I just blast the frame. I coat, I coat the inside of the frame, I spray into these holes, and that keeping that layer of fluid film in there will you know, help prevent that rust, and keeping it on the outside is good too. Also help prevent uh, any kind of salt, and uh, even muddy water will really help repel that and keep that from uh, sticking to the frame. So that's what I do about the frame. Now, the body's a whole nother story. These bodies, they, uh, they're they known for rotting out. Um, especially the bed. Now I'm lucky, I had a parts truck that actually had a fiberglass bed. So I sold my stock bed, and the stock bed, they're known for rusting because they have that seam right here where they've joined the two pieces together. 
and they're all gonna rot right there eventually. This is actually one big piece. So I don't have that problem. But if you notice on the inside of your stock bed, you've got these removable panels here. And there's a little bit of a, a, you know, a space at the bottom of those removable panels where, again, uh, dirt like this can, can fall down there, uh, just water sits in there. And that's why these beds, you've got that, that way for dirt and, and salt water and muddy water to get in there. That's why they start to corrode from the inside out. Uh, so take those panels off, clean back there, spray some, uh, um, some kind of rust proof back there, some fluid film or whatever you want to use, and that's going to help extend the life of your bed if it's not already too late. Once they start to rust, you know, you're, you're out of luck. Let's see, going on to the front of the truck here, let's uh, take a look at these door jams. Again, you've got uh, plugs here, right there. You've got one right there. This is, uh, this is a hollow cavity inside here, and inevitably, you're gonna get some kind of you know, water down in there at some point. So take those, pop those off, spray a little bit of fluid film or whatever you want to use down in there, and that way, because this actually down here is the drain for that cavity. You can see there's little tiny uh, spaces every once in a while between the pinch wells. There's another one right there. So that allows water to drain out. But if that's all gunked up with, with mud or, you know, who knows what, not rat nest, you never know. That's gonna prevent draining. And that's gonna cause your rocker panels to rust out. Now, uh, another place where these trucks will rust is sometimes down here in the door jam. Water runs down. Uh, I'll show you where from in a second. And it'll settle right in here, my driver's side. I uh, had a bad problem right here. I actually I post a, a link up right here to the video where I repaired that. It uh, pretty much ate the rocker panel right here. Uh, the floor rotted out. Now, behind your cowl here, you're gonna have water running down and you don't want any kind of salt water, uh, even muddy water, anything that's gonna accumulate moisture or cause, cause corrosion to be sitting down in that area. Same with the windshield. I still haven't put my, I'm so lazy, haven't put my, my trim on yet. Um, these, actually you saw them back here. These trucks came with eight piece trim, you know, the four corners and then the, the longer pieces. And they don't glue in like modern ones. They actually sit on over using clips. So the problem is you get the, the little tiny leaves, you get dirt, mud, everything just gets stuck back there. And it all kind of settles down right in here. And these, this is always where it seems to get bad. Mine was actually bad right here. And I caught it early enough where I was able to uh, stop the rust. So it's, it's inconvenient, but you know, you gotta pull that off once in a while and clean it out behind there. Make sure you don't have any rust because that's a really bad spot because that's by your glass and you don't want to leak to the inside of your cab. Cause that, that rust will get ugly very quick. So let's go on to the front of the truck here. I'll show you one more problem area I've found. I've had this truck in some deep mud. I've had it buried a little more than I should have. Uh, I've had like the radiator halfway sunken in mud. And this is the result of that. You can see here, that's a patch I had to make because I had a hole right there uh, from rust. And what happened was, this is the uh, front radiator support, I guess core support, you can call it. Here, I'll try and shine a little bit of light in there, so you can see. Had to, had to patch all that, because uh, that was just rotted through. Because you can see there's holes, and once mud gets in there, it only has, and again, just like on the uh, rocker panel, a tiny little space to escape. And once that's clogged up, your, your mud, your moisture, is all going to sit in there and that's going to cause that to rot through and that's exactly what happened and uh i was it was already a hole when i caught it i started poking with a screwdriver and it got pretty ugly pretty quick so i found all that fixed now again here you go you can see all the new metal i had to put in it's kind of hard to see with the bumper on but i'll pop that off just for this video and the same thing happened to this side again up in there 
You see I replace all that right there. And I actually drilled a, a bigger hole and left it right there because I don't want this to ever happen again. Made a little bit better drainage. And even on the inside here, you can see once again, light. <laughs> you can see again, a patch panel. So I had to patch all that. It was still easier than replacing the whole core support. Now, <clears throat> the other place where these things will collect mud is this uh, front part of the frame. You know, you've got these holes in there, so it can definitely breathe, but some of these bottom holes, they'll get easily clogged up with, even though they're big and there's a lot of them, they'll get clogged up with just leaves and just junk, prevent drainage. So yeah, it's all about keeping those, keeping these drains open. All right, I've got my carpet pulled back here, and you can see my you can see my scars. This is what I was talking about when I was on the other side. Um, this is all new, all new sheet metal, all new sheet metal. This was all rotted out. This this was all rotted out as well, right in here. It was all replaced, and uh, that was a lot of work. So definitely, there's always a driver's side floor that seems to go first, and uh, it starts up here. This works its way back. All right, getting back under the truck, I'm under the uh, the rear of the bed here. Um, this truck, this frame actually was very, very corroded back here, and it was kind of rebuilt uh, using using uh, all new steel. So you can see it's a lot heavier duty than it once was. <clears throat> Slide under here. This cross beam here, the one that has the gas tank brackets mounted on it, those are known to rot out. So that's been replaced as well. So yeah, definitely these frames were not made to uh, last long in Ohio, but you know, don't drive it in the winter. That's my advice. Keep the mud off. If you do take it mudding, make sure you clean it properly, clean it well inside and out, and uh, keep some sort of a rust preventative like fluid film or something similar on it whenever you can and uh your your truck shall last a long time all right thanks for watching and uh you know i don't work for fluid film but hey i'm just sharing with you what i've used that works well you can use whatever you want and uh keep those toilets clean keep them on the road we'll see you next time